are so good to shake the kinks from one's bones. What on earth is this? Seen what he pulled from the water? An old pot. Mayhaps his lass wears pots for shoes, in case she can't find a privy. You were supposed to fish out my slipper. I'm at a dance now with one foot bed. It is a wedding. I've got to wear slippers. Oh, look, dearie. I did. Take there. Muck must have sucked it deep in. Well, poke your paws in there. Rut for it. Rubbish game. What's all this, then? <gasps> They're playing slip in for a slipper. Never heard of it? Never. Us gentry folk have other diversions. What's the object? Maid tosses a shoe in the water. A man's got to dive in and fish it out. Hmm. Oh, my. Oh, there's more to come. <laughs> oh, jeez. Prime game. Shani, your slipper. I shall prove I dive to any depth for you. I'm still trying to work out how their slippers sink. They gotta be some metal. My eyes are glued. Oh, that was easy. How many shoes must I collect? Well, that looks like a mole. Damn mucky that pond. Sank in up to my armpits. Uh, I see no amount of silt could keep you from my shoe. And all the other shoes ever tossed in the lake. Always better to do a bit more and even gain naught by it than to do too little and face regret. Oh, that's quite the theory. One founded in practice. For instance, I can now approach the owner of any of these slippers and she will lift up her skirt and bend over. To don it, of course. Ah, oh, so generous. And clever. Just figuring that out? Hmm, I believe I've earned a kiss. Well, find the owners of those shoes. One might agree. Don't be jealous, Shani. That was but a jest. I don't give a piffle about the others. Oh well. Recognize this, Cinderella. My shoe? Mm hmm. Now extend your supple leg and let me slide it in. That is, on. <laughs> uh, thank you. Let's do some dancing. <laughs> In my experience, witches and dancing don't exactly mix. Today they mix like fire and oil, my love. We'll dance the barn down. <laughs> <laughs> faster, faster until we expire. <laughs> Just 
take over the entire dance floor, why not, would you? Something lovely for the loving couple. At last, music for our loving embrace. Come, Shani. It's time you discovered my romantic side. a jig with you as its partner. Uh, oh, how humble you are. I strive to be, yet should the need arise, I can strut as proud as any peacock. Oh, perfect combination. Women must love you. Well, not to brag, but... Call it idle curiosity, but how many have you had? Many, and not a scrub hag among them, I should add. Women with true class, all, though none to match your charms. Hmm, I wonder how many times you use that line. Seems the music in the evening draw to a close. Know how a true dancer thinks his lovely partner. Um, not sure I do. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, what are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I have my mind, my heart for you. Uh. We must agree. You can say whatever you please, but you should keep your hands to yourself. Understood? Don't be upset, my peach. I couldn't resist. I'm not upset. Just. Next time, don't lunge at me like that. I'd had a long fast, so to speak. Hunger overwhelmed me. But yes, next time, I shall ask. Shani, may I kiss you? <laughs> you are incorrigible. Could I talk to Geralt for a moment? What for? He'll have nothing of interest to say. The man's a drip. Please. <sighs> Very well. See how I've reeled her in? Now don't fuck this up. Geralt, I'm curious what it's like when that ghost's inside you. Do you feel anything? Do you have any control? I feel everything. Don't have any control over what I do or say, though. Why do you ask? Because I wonder what it would have been like to dance with you. Just you. Say what would have happened. Probably wouldn't have danced at all. Oh, really? Shut up! Shut up! You'll ruin everything! At any rate, I wash my hands of all my actions till the stroke of midnight. I see. Happened to see the man who announced our your song? Yes. He acted as though he knew me, but we've never met. I was surprised. Who is he? Gontor Odin, Master Mirror. Wonder what he's doing here. Then perhaps you should just ask him. Yeah, he didn't show up without a reason. Need to talk to him. Consider that he might have simply been nearby and dropped it on a whim. I promise you this much. He never does anything simply. And certainly not on a whim. Bah. I was to make merry, carouse. Yet here I've stood the last five minutes listening to you talk. I'm going back in. Shani, the knight back 
instructions as not to jabber it away. Oh dear, she's a real trooper to pull this guy. Probably the night is young. Come, let's do something wild. Honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madam. You omit the most important ingredient in gingerbread. Time. What sort of balderdash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside, the delicious moistness within. So how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Sean. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odin. By his bow, I would My, say Nilfgaardian. The colour suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot about everything. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother, that you envied all geared from your earliest days, and always wished to be just like you. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Ederek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? Because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be? If the true nature of things remained hidden from me, someone like you, meaning... I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but... Let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do what you left with us. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Charlie isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pain imitation. Oh, by the way, all gears are much better dancing. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it, I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me, cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five, took them on all at once, alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgier visits my grave, often, pours a drink for me, gets soused himself and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Hmm. Well, perhaps one day he'll say something very surprising. What are you getting at? I shan't disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... time is short. 
Shani, I'm sorry. I... It's all right. That was... We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. All lies. Not a word of truth. Don't let it run. Kid was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe it. And now revel on. Time won't wait. I'm there, Anderson. Drink with us. Don't make us beg. We're toasting the newly. Drink with us. I never say no to a lady. To your fair beauty and to your shiny Let's naturally. Go kill some your elven happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. <laughs> Uh, what else we got to do here? Well, what are you looking at? Your health, Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lover! Gwent. Perhaps you care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, Midget. Oh, no need for insults. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Oh. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a Midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. What's your wager? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Mm, these off again. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. Alright. <sighs> Loser has to wear the assies. So you want to worry about? Damn it! Can't have time. All right, peeps. Well, we'll leave it there, and we'll do this in the next one because I've gone over time because Saint was over for my recording time. That's not fun. All right, catch you all in the next one. Later. <laughs>